All right, Joan Oaks here, and we are here at Hankster's here. This is Hankster's Hot Rods in Homer City, Pennsylvania. Uh, if you're interested in coming out to view this car or any other car that we have here in our inventory, uh, just to give you an idea, we are only about 70 miles from our closest major airport being the Pittsburgh International Airport and of course Pittsburgh, PA. If you want to fly in in a little smaller plane, you always have the option of going to the Arnold Palmer Airport in Latrobe, PA as well. That's going to get you a little closer to our facility here. Today here, I want to go over this car sitting here in front of us. It's a 1966 Chevy 2 Nova. Now, this is not a super sport car. Uh, it is a post car. Uh, and as you can see, it's been done just a solid red color here. Beautiful paint on this car too. Nice, smooth, and shiny the whole entire way around the car. And as far as bright work goes on the car, we really don't have much there either. We've got just the moldings around the windshield, and of course we've got our mirrors and our bumpers on this car. So again, chrome front and rear bumpers. We've got the chrome mirrors on both sides. And again, all of that bright work is all in really good condition. No pitting at all on any of that. As far as wheels and tires, we've got a set of 15-inch wheels, both front and rear, uh, and those are the uh, chrome steel factory rally wheels. And then, of course, mounted on those, we've got a nice set of the BF Goodrich. These are the red line tires to give it that old-school look. Slightly smaller in the front, a little bigger in the back there, just to give it a little bit of rake and give the car a little bit of attitude. Now, as we walk back here, you can see our car here. We've got uh, all of our panels here are in perfect alignment. Body lines line up the whole way back the side of the car. This midline here also. You can see the gaps on the door very nicely done here and put together. As we open up our door, we're going to take a look at our interior here real briefly. Again, an all red interior. Again, most people like the, the difference with the black in there, but this car is nice. There's no marks or rips or tears in the seat upholstery. Now, this is what you would have as far as your factory split bench seat here. The factory dash, again, there's no cracks in that. Factory instrumentation with all the gauges that's in there, with the exception of just the tack that they have mounted underneath the dash. Of course, you can see the painted dash, all red to match the exterior of the car. The carpeting, again, is in excellent shape over here. There's no rips, no tears, no fades. Door panels are anchored down nice and solid the whole way around on the car, too. And we'll also go around the other side and check it out over there, too. Seals and weather strips are all in great shape as well. Door closes real nice. Door handles are in great shape too on the car. As we walk back, you can look at the glass as we come around. The glass is very nice too. There's no scratches, no chips or any cracks obviously in any of the glass. As we come back to the rear of the car here, you're gonna notice we've got our matching chrome rear bumper to go along with that front bumper. The trunk lid itself, the fitment of this, is great the whole way around. You'll see our gaps here the whole way around and the elevations as compared with those quarter panels are in great shape. Tail lights, the lenses are all in good shape with the bezels also. Now we're going to go ahead and open our trunk lid up real quick just to go ahead and give you uh, an idea of what the trunk is like inside. Of course the trunk latch, latch works as you can hear it pop open. Inside, we've got a full carpeted trunk here. This is in nice shape here, excellent shape as a matter of fact. A nice set of floor mats here that we'll leave in here for you too if you wish to have those inside the car. And of course, our seals and weather stripping around our trunk, all in great shape, nice and soft. There's no rips or tears or cracks or dry rotting of the, the, uh, uh, the seals at all on that. As we close the trunk lid, it closes nice and easy. Uh, again, fitment is all good on this car. Now we'll come around to the passenger side of the vehicle and look at this. On our way around, we'll take a look at our glass and the trim too. Again, all in great shape. Again, this side is just the same as the other. All of our body lines run together very nicely on this and line up excellent on the car. Again, the paint the whole way around is great and you can see our glass here on these windows too in excellent condition. We'll open up our door and now we'll take a look on the inside here on the passenger side. 
Again, carpeting in great shape. We've got all the seat belts present in here. We've got the front belts and all of the rear belts as well. Factory column, factory steering wheel. The only thing that's been added, like I said, has been the tack under the dash. And of course, we've upgraded to the B&M shifter in there for that turbo 350 automatic transmission. We'll go ahead and close this side. Door closes nice and easy there. We've got the mirror on both sides, so you're gonna be able to see all the way around the vehicle. Of course, now on our fenders here, we'll take a look. We've got the 327 cross flags badging there, and that does signify what is underneath the hood here. As we come around the front now, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the front bumper. The chrome finish on that, polished up nicely, got a nice bright shine to it. The grill work on this car is in great shape too. It's all intact. There's nothing bent, nothing dented whatsoever. Even the bright work along the leading edge of the hood here is in great shape. As far as the hood goes, all steel hood, two inch cow induction hood. You can see our gaps here on both sides. Very uniform side to side. And again, our elevations with those front fenders are in really nice adjustment the whole way around. We're going to go ahead and open our hood now. And once we do this, we're going to take a look. We can see the underside condition of the hood here in great shape. You've got the hood insulation in here where it should be. Of course, you've got your hole for the air cleaner to stick up through. Now, as far as the motor here, this is a 327 uh, small block Chevy motor here. Now, I know that later on in the video, I do mention that it has a 350, but that was incorrect. So I just want to make that uh, correction there. It is a 327. You can see it's got the factory chrome air cleaner on top, aluminum intake, a nice set of chrome valve covers there also to help dress things up, stock cast exhaust manifolds, we've got all the heater lines hooked up. Now again, this is a manual brake car, but it's a power steering, and again, that's a power rack and pinion also drives and steers nice. We've got a stock style radiator with the shroud here too to help cool things down. Uh, and of course you've got the factory style windshield washer fluid bottle in here also. So again, everything's all painted black in here. It looks nice underneath the hood here. Um, so again, 327 motor with the turbo 350 transmission and the 10 bolt GM rear end makes a real nice car for you. We're gonna close this up now. All right, we got our 66 Nova here up on the lift. So we're gonna go through the underside and wow, underneath this car, first time looking at it here, this is really nice underneath here. Starting up here at the front, they've done some customization here. They have went ahead and done the Mustang two front suspension kit, um, which goes ahead and utilizes the rack and pinion steering up here. So a real nice addition to this car up front. In combination with that, we've got all tubular control arms, uppers and lowers with this car. Uh, and of course, coil over front and rear suspension on this. Now up front for braking, we do have the disc brakes up front. In the back, we do have drums also. Now for the drive line on this car, we'll just speak of that real quickly here. We've got small block Chevy 350 motor here. Back behind that, we've got the turbo 350 automatic transmission with a real nice aluminum tranny pan here. That's gonna help dissipate that heat a whole lot better. Also, we've got that flywheel cover here to help protect that against any dirt and debris getting in there and knocking any of the teeth off. Um, as you can also see, we've got full length, well, not full length, but uh, partial length exhaust here. It comes all the way from the cast exhaust manifolds back to these tube style mufflers. And of course it does get cut off here short. And I'll explain to you quickly why. Um, you'll see that we've got custom rear suspension here. It's a parallel four bar rear suspension with the panner bar here. And again, the cross members and everything for this includes the drive shaft loop and there's just not a whole lot of room that you could pack that exhaust back in here. Just not enough room at all to get it all the way back and exiting the rear of the car. So that's why it's cut just a little short of that. Uh, as I said, we got that parallel four bar suspension. Real nice addition to this car. Rear uh, shocks and springs, coilovers here again. Uh, the fronts are adjustable, by the way. The rears, though, are just what you've got. Got a nice sway bar here on the back of the car too. Stock fuel tank. 
And then the big thing on this car is the floors. Very nice floors. I see no patching, no holes whatsoever. All of the braces are here and present. It all looks great. Doesn't look like there's heavy undercoating. It looks like it's just been dusted with black underneath here. Of course, you've got the subframe connectors here that tie everything in together. Um, all of your brake lines and fuel lines are run very nicely. Got the emergency brake cables. Everything's all hooked up here too. Uh, so again, just a real nice looking underside of a car. Again, 66 Nova. I don't think you're gonna find too many that's nicer than this one underneath. All right, so now that we've got our walk around done of the outside of the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and start this up now. And we'll take it for a ride. We'll show you it running, driving, show you all the gauges working here, and show the you know all your indicator lights and so forth as we're sitting here driving the car. So we're gonna fire it up. I'm just gonna hit the key. Starts right up. We're gonna put her in gear here. Now we've got this nice B and M shifter here. You've got the uh, mechanism right here. You got to lift up on that to shift it. But again, the shifter itself works really good. So we're gonna pull out here. Again, this is automatic. That's first into second. And in the third there. So it's a turbo 350, three speed automatic transmission. We're driving along here. We've, our speedo's working. We've got about 60 mile an hour now. Now, I don't think that's 100% accurate. It's a little off probably depending on the gear that's in the rear end and or maybe the gear that's in the transmission on the speedo cable itself. The car again drives nice and straight and doesn't pull to one side and uh, as we're driving here we're noticing our gauges here. Fuel gauge is working, voltmeter gauge is working, temperature gauge is starting to come up and the oil pressure gauge is working. We'll take a look at our tack here in just a minute as we head back the other way on our highway here. But you can see that the turn signal works. I'll go ahead and flip to the other side while we're sitting here just to show you that working. So that's all correct. Um, the steering wheel, again, centered up real nice for you. Uh, again, the wheels are clocked straight ahead. All of that seems to be in working order. Our uh, blower motor here, we can go ahead and turn that on. And you can hear that blower motor working. Again, uh, you'll get a little squeal every now and then if they haven't been used for a while, but you can see that the blower motor does, in fact, work. Um, our wipers, we'll just run through those real quick. You can see that the wipers work all speeds. That's high, that's low. And when we turn them off, they park back down to where they should be. And as far as the horn goes, the horn works too, just as it should. So everything on the inside works really good. We got our green arrow now. We're gonna go ahead and get turned around. Until um, we get turned around though, let's go ahead and just do a brief pause. We'll get going the other way here and head on back to the shop. Okay, so here we got our car going back to the shop now. Running up the highway again, just showing everything working. Shifting great here again, using that B&M shifter automatic. That transmission shifts nice and smooth the whole way up through all the gears. Of course, our tack down here, we've got the aftermarket tack, and it is working. It's a good auto meter tack. And again, like I said, all of our other gauges are working. You can see the temperature gauge. It's coming up now, the oil pressure while we're running. Good, strong oil pressure, voltmeter and fuel gauge, all factory gauges there, all working. So again, as we're driving, we just want to mention that the car does not pull to either side. The brakes work good too. You can put your foot on the pedal a little bit and it won't put you through the windshield. Also, you don't have to stand on those brakes either to get it to stop. So again, whole car, nice, very nicely done. Um, nice, solid car too. As you can hear in here as we're driving along, we don't have any bumps or any rattles that we have to deal with while driving a car like this. Just a good solid car. Suspension feels great. Runs good. Lots of power. Again, it's a car that you're going to be happy with. So again, as you're watching this video, if you're seeing this on YouTube, uh, just keep in mind to always go to our website at www.hangsters.com. Uh, again, all of our videos get posted on YouTube and they always stay on there. 
So again, this may or may not be a car that we even have in inventory right now. So always go to that website. Give us a call also at 724-471-2975. And you can see if this car is in fact in inventory currently. And you can ask any questions that you may have about this car or any other car that we have on our inventory. As we're coming down the road, we're getting to our facility here again. So we're gonna pull in here now, and we're just gonna give you a little shot of the engine running uh, at both the engine compartment and back at the tailpipes.